A major deadline is looming for some renters in Los Angeles. The city's COVID era eviction protection ends tomorrow, and those protections covered rent owed between October 1st, 2021, and now. There were also provisions for rent increases in units under the city's rent stabilization program, but the city still has strong protections and there can be no evictions without cause. And as KCAL's Rachel Kim shows us, there are many programs to help renters. I'm kind of like paranoid a little bit as to what I'm going to do. 73-year-old Bernie Arauz came to the Los Angeles Housing Development Office looking for help because for the first time in almost 23 years, he's afraid he won't have a place to live. Because I'm kind of late on my payment and uh, I'm trying to find out. Uh, I just found out that the owner is going to it's in the price of selling the property. Arauz now has 120 days to move out of his 10-unit Boyle Heights apartment building he's been paying hundreds in rent for through the COVID pandemic. He's been unemployed after a major car accident and has been staying with his mother, who recently passed away. Well, now he says he can't afford rent anywhere else. And I, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to, you know, ask him, up, you know, what my options are, or maybe go talk to an attorney and find out my rights. Arauz is relieved to hear that the city is providing renters resources to prevent people from falling into homelessness. He's counting on the city for relocation assistance and help with the rent once he finds a place. You know, that is going to be $2,500 $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, a month. It's going to be plus bills. That's what, that's what makes you go homeless. All residential units in Los Angeles now officially have what's called just cause protections. That means a landlord cannot evict a tenant without declaring a legal reason for eviction. The Apartment Association of Greater Los Angeles says these protections are extreme and are hurting rental property owners. With the extreme inflation we've had these past four years, coupled with no rent increases, coupled with um, being handcuffed on our ability to collect legally owed rent. So we are starting to hear from members who are facing foreclosure today. Euclidson tells us 80% of their rental property owners are small families who typically provide the affordable housing. He says many of these families can't afford to stay in business today. They're leaving and they're selling these buildings and these properties are being redeveloped today. And as a result, it's just creating more shortages in housing. Bernie Arauz is trying to stay optimistic. So I'm going to run out pretty soon. So I'm going to have problems. Rachel Kim, KCAL News. The city has many resources for renters, and you can go to kcalnews.com, click on Scene on TV. We have links to information about tenants' rights, renters' assistance, and a lot more, including information for landlords.